Welcome to Scruffy Church TV! <laughs> Welcome! Welcome to Sunny Bath for Scruffy Church TV, a church service for anyone, anywhere to watch. And it's great that you're here. My name's Philip, I'm a vicar here in Bath. And Lizzie, my wife, is operating the camera today. As you know, she would love to be in Scruffy TV. But she can't, because she's not scruffy enough. <laughs> she's far too glam, but she's a great camera. She's a glamourer operator. So it's great that she's here as well and filming us in our home. Now, we've got some shout outs for you today. You are welcome to Scruffy Church TV. Molly! Hi Molly! And here's a picture of Molly working on her Noah's Ark last week. Look at that, all her animals there and that rainbow is beautiful. They're watching Scruffy Church TV on her mum's iPad. Hello to you Molly and all your family. Big shout out to Christian Spotswood! Christian! Hello, you love Scruffy Church TV and I'm really glad. We met uh, a few months ago and it was great. I loved meeting you and I'm really glad that you love watching Scruffy Church TV. And I happen to know that you're a really good cyclist. So I'm wearing my special cyclist shirt because I like cycling too. And uh, I really hope you get out on your bike a bit later on. So hi, Christian. Um, look at this picture of Teddy and George. Isn't it great? George has got his human plan, crazy plan sign that he's worked on there. And in this picture, Teddy is making something amazing. He's making my desk. Look at that, my scruffy church desk with uh, the pen pot there with a wooden ruler in it and the candle. It's not quite as scruffy as my desk, but I'm sure you're working on it. Anyway, thank you for sending that picture in. And finally, Livy from Derby, who makes a lovely chalet at the bottom of her drive each week. Last week, it was Noah and we did the story of Noah this week. I'd already decided to do a story based on a farm and there's her farm. I didn't even know and she didn't know, but that's great. So Livy, thank you for doing that and enjoy watching Scruffy Church TV in Derby with your grandparents. Great to see you. Do write to us at scruffy at stephensbath.org.uk. We love to hear from you. We film in our home here and it's lovely to see that what we're doing you're doing as well. So do write to us and we shout out everybody who writes in. Right, now let's have a look at the stuff we need. Actually, I've just noticed something. Have a look over here. This is usually pretty scruffy, but look, we've got stuff from the garden, from gardening. We've got some packaging that came. I wonder what that can be for. Maybe we'll see a bit later on. This is what we need for today. We're going to be making a prayer tree later. So I've got a nice stick there. You might like to stop the video now and go and get a stick. Something to put it in. I'm going to put mine in, a, in that flower pot upside down to hold it up like that. And you'll need to cut out some stuff as well, some paper or some card to draw things on. And cut. We're going to draw some fruit a bit later. Something to colour them in with, something to cut them out, and something to stick them on the tree. You can use some paper clips there or some sellotape or there's a clip there, anything to attach the fruit to the tree. So if you get that all ready, then that will be in our prayer time a bit later on. Oh, so much to do. So let's begin with a prayer. Listen to this lovely sound and see if you can hear when it stops. Here we go. Thank you, loving God, that we have Scruffy Church TV. Thank you that we have this time to be together. And we're going to find out so much more about your love for us today. Help us in our praying, in our singing, in our shouting, in our listening, and in our doing to worship you with all we are. In Jesus' name. Amen. Do you fancy singing the Scruffy Church TV song? Because I know I do. 
So let's go over to the music area and we'll sing Scruffy Church TV. Let's go, here we go. Here we go everybody. Sometime on a Sunday or any day I know where I'll be. Watching my computer or iPad to see Scruffy TV. It's Scruffy Scruffy Church. Woo! Scruffy Scruffy Church. Woo! Scruffy Scruffy Church. We're all family now. I wonder what will we do this week? I'm sure it will be fun with you and me and Jesus. So come on everyone. Two, three, four. Scruffy Scruffy Church. Woo! Scruffy Scruffy Church. Woo! Scruffy Scruffy Church. Woo! We're all family now. Who is it? You and you and me. You and you and me. You and you and me. We're God's family. Who are we? We're God's family. What are we? We're God's family. Scruffy Church TV, everybody! Fantastic! Great. Oh, we've got so many exciting things in our service today. And the first thing I'm going to tell you is I really love Jesus. It's reassuring, isn't it, for a vicar to say that I love Jesus. I love all the fantastic things he says that we read about in the Bible. I love the things he does. He heals people. He's always with the people who nobody else wants to be with. I love that. And I just, I love thinking about what, what must it have been like to have been with Jesus when he was walking around on the earth. It must have been great because he told amazing stories and he was so, I reckon he was really funny as well. He must have been because loads of people listened to him. And there's one time it tells us in Matthew's gospel where it says Jesus was staying in a house and he went out of the house and he was crowded by loads of people. Loads of people wanted him to talk to them, maybe to tell them some stories because he always told loads of stories. So he got into a boat, it says, and he pushed out into the lake and everybody was standing on the shore. Now, I reckon Jesus was sitting there in the boat looking at all these people on the beach and asking, what should I tell them today? Um, let's see, what about the Good Samaritan? Now, I've done that one quite a lot lately. What about the prodigal son? That's a great... No, I, really quite... I need to work on the ending of that one. How about Noah's Ark? That's a great story. <laughs> Do you remember I did that before? The disciples played the animals. It was brilliant. Peter's was a fantastic elephant. And then he may have looked above the people and seen up on the hill a farmer and thought, I'll do a story about a farmer. What's he doing? He's sowing some seed. I'm going to do a story about a farmer sowing some seed. So I thought that's a really good story to do today. And I was thinking, how shall I do that? I was sitting in my scruffy study and I looked across and there was some old packaging from a bedside table that had arrived. So I thought, how about using this box and all the stuff in it for our story today? So let's get nice and comfortable. I'll take all of this stuff out of here. And I've got some stuff from the garden as well. And we're going to do the story of the sower. Now, there's all my stuff that I need. Now, we, of course, you know in Scruffy Church TV, we don't just have stories that I tell. Everybody joins in the stories. Oops, there was the sky. It was at the bottom there for a moment. So, in this story, these are the things you need to do. First of all, we're going to be birds. Okay, so go, wah! However you want to do a bird, so with birds flying and birds eating, fantastic. The next thing we're going to be is the sun, really hot. So get your hands like this and we're going to go. However you think the sun shines, really, really hot. I like that, the sun shining really hot. Next, we're going to be weeds growing and choking the plants. Like that, be really careful how you choke yourself there. And finally, we're going to be plants growing. Really big and tall, wonderful plants. And there's a little song that we're going to sing as well during this story. It goes, so, so, so the seeds sowing all around. Some of the farmer's seed fell on 
and we'll sing all the different grounds there are. So let's try that together. So, so, so your seed, so them all around. Some of the farmer's seed fell on stony ground is the first one. We're going to do that in just a second. So let's have a look, shall we? Here's the story of the sower, the parable of the sower. So one day there was a farmer and the farmer went out to sow some seed. So, so, so your seed gently all around. Some of the farmer's seed fell on stony ground. There's the seed there on the stony ground. Now, it wasn't long before loads of birds came. Let's hear birds' noises. Ah, wah, wah, wah. And they landed and they started to eat all the seed. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, lovely. And then they flew away again. And off they went. <gasps> the next time the farmer sowed his seed, so, so, so your seed, sowing all around, some of the farmer's seed fell on scrubby ground. Now, this is this land that was really thin soil. And I've got some old plant pot there. Look some of the seeds sprouted it started to grow okay a few other bits here look started to spring up in this shallow soil there look but the trouble was that the soil wasn't very thick and the sun in the sky shone Are you ready for your sun no noises <sighs> is it really hot there <sighs> And down below, the sun started to scorch the little plots, made them go really hot, and they wilted and died. And all that was left was some scrubby ground. Right, next one is so, so, so you see, sowing all around. Some of the farmer's seed fell on weedy ground. So this is the weedy ground here. Let's put some of the seed down. There we are. That's the seed going on the weeds. Now then, let's have a look what I've got in here. I've got some old, some old bluebells there. Look, the seed started to sprout. So things started to grow really nicely. Look, there's some more. That's a nice little bit there. And what else have we got? Oh, there's another one there. So some of them started to grow, the seeds. They grew really well, but then some horrible weeds came along ah, and it choked them. Let's hear those choking noises. Ah, 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 look at that. That's bindweed pulling them all down. And look, destroyed all the plants. Yeah. Last one. Are you ready? So, so, so your seed sowing all around. Some of the farmer's seed fell on perfect ground lovely deep soil and it says in Jesus story that the seed grew till it was absolutely enormous look at the size of that seed that is a great crop healthy crops growing and producing lots and lots of fruit Wonderful. Jesus told that story and I reckon those people must have loved it because they would have thought it was really funny to start with because Jesus would have said, right, a farmer went out to sow seed and some of the seed fell on the path and they would have gone, that's crazy. Farmers are brilliant just like they are today and they, they don't waste their seed. They wouldn't throw seed on the stony ground. <laughs> What's he talking about? But when they were laughing so much, they would have really loved that story and they would have continued listening to the story. And Jesus says, well, you know, shall I tell you what this story is about? And they said, yeah, yeah, yeah. So on the boat, he said, well, it's like, well, the seed that I'm talking about, it's a bit like God's word. God gives us his words. God gives us his words of love. God tells us how we can live our lives to the best. That we, and if we listen to those words and if we do what God says, 
then that's like the seed coming from heaven. And some of the seed, well, some of the seed falls on stony ground. Do you know what that looks like? Let's go and have a look. I'll take my seed with me. Let's go and have a look. I think we've got quite a lot of stony ground out in our garden. There we go. There we are. Put my hat on because it's a bit it's a bit sunny outside. So let's go and see if we can find some of our scruffy church TV garden stony ground. Some of the seed fell on stony ground. Now what Jesus was saying by this was sometimes God's word is heard by people and they just think, nah, that's a load of rubbish. I'm not going to do any of that. I'm not going to do any loving God. I'm not going to love other people. Nah. And Jesus said it's just like the seed gets eaten up by birds. Shall we have a look what it's like for birds to eat seed? Here we go. Come on, chucks. Here are our lovely chucks. Come on, here we go. Yeah, look. Hey, there's some seed for you. And that's Pablo, this is Pablo, our cockerel. He's lovely, there you go. So some lovely seed for the birds. And then Jesus says, well, some of the seed fell on thin soil. And we've got some thin soil up here. And he said, well, that's a bit like the people who hear God's word and they think, oh, that's really fantastic. And then they completely forget it. Look at this. This is a great example of some thin soil. Look, it's really thin. But any seed on that wouldn't last very long. In fact, I reckon it would look like this. <laughs> this. This is some grass that hasn't had the sun. Look, and you can see how it's all scrubby. And then Jesus says, some of the seed fell on weedy soil. So have a look at this. This is, this is our sage bush. Look, lovely sage and the cement there. But this, this is bindweed. And you can see the way, look, the bindweed wraps itself all around the sage. And I think we're gonna, right, we'll start to pull that out. We don't like bindweed. I'll come and finish that off. Lizzie and I will finish this off a bit later with our gardening. And Jesus says, well, that's a bit like when you hear the word and you start to do it, but then other things come like money is much more important than God. Oh. Yeah, the things that you have are really, really fantastic, much more important than anything else or being really popular. That, those things aren't bad in themselves, but if they become more important than God, then it's like them going and strangling you. And then Jesus says, the final seed falls on really good soil. And look at this. This is soil from our own compost that we make here at the rectory. Look how beautiful that is. And then you can see this is an apple tree and it's starting to grow. And already you can see the apples starting to grow. Look, there's a little one. There's a bigger one there. The fruit is growing. And Jesus says, if we hear God's words and if we do them, then it's like those words grow in our lives and the way we live becomes fruit. It becomes as good as fruit to nourish the world, to give the world something really important. And this time of year is Pentecost. And it's the time when we remember the Holy Spirit coming from God. Jesus says, when I go away, I'm going to send you the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit who lives in us is the way that this seed, this, these seeds of God's word can grow in our lives and produce fruit. So we're going to sing a song about the Spirit coming and... We're going to start with the chorus. So in the Bible, it says the spirit comes like a fire. So we just have a look at this a minute. So it's spirit come like a fire. <laughs> you get your fingers like that and make a crackling sound. Spirit come like a river. Make your hands like a river like that. Spirit come like a mighty wind. 
and be with us forever. Let's have a look at that chorus. Spirit come like a fire. You hear the fire? Spirit come like a river. Spirit come like a mighty wind. And be with us forever. And be with us for. Let's try that again. Spirit come like a fire. Spirit come like a river. Spirit come like a mighty wind. And be with us forever. And be with us forever. Brilliant. Now, between the verse and the chorus, there's a lovely bit. We go like this. Ready? Fantastic. I'm going to sing the, uh, the verse. If you can join in with the verse, that would be great. But do join in with the chorus when we get it. We'll start with the ch, and then we'll sing our verse. Here we go. When Jesus finished his time on earth and went back to heaven, he said, I'll give you the Spirit of God to be with you forever to be with you forever. Here's the chorus. Spirit come like a fire. Spirit come like a river. Spirit come like a mighty wind. And be with us forever. And be with us forever. When Jesus finished his life on earth, went back to heaven. He said, I'll give you the Spirit of God to be with you forever, to be with you forever. Here we go. Spirit come like a fire. Spirit come like a river. Spirit come like a mighty wind. And be with us forever. And be with us forever. Great, well done with that song. Now we're going to pray together. So we need to get all the stuff we need for our prayer tree. So I put mine over here by the story. So let's, oh, let's take that with us. Need to remember my book. Do you remember that week when I forgot to take my book in to the prayer room? I had to come back and get it. Right, let's see as we go through if no india's not around today so here we go so come into the scruffy study and have a settle down so you need to get all your stuff ready you can either do it at the same time as me or you can stop and do it a bit later so first of all we need our prayer tree to stand up so oops oh it's not really standing up very well so what I'll do, I've got a bit of leftover polystyrene there from the packaging. So I'm going to put that underneath, put that in there, see if that works. Hey, brilliant! Right, now, we're going to make different bits of fruit now. Uh, so, in fact, you can use paper or card. What I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to use some of this. For now, you don't have to use poly, so you can you use paper or card, whatever you like, and cut them out. But I'm going to use this. So, the first thing, let's see what we've got. Oh, that's nice. So, the first bit of fruit I'm going to draw is a banana. So you might like to draw a banana or something else. And the different fruit that comes in our lives. The Bible talks about our lives bearing fruit. That means that it helps us to love God more, it helps us to love other people more, and it helps us to know that we are loved. So let's have joy on this one. It doesn't have to be a banana, whatever you like. Joy. Okay, let's hold our fruit. Now let's have a think about joy. What gives you joy? That's not a very good banana, is it? But it's a scruffy banana, that's what counts. What gives you joy? 
or who makes you feel joyful? I wonder who that is for you. You might like to write on the other side, who makes you joyful? So I'm going to write, oh look, that's, there we go. Look, I'm going to write family. I love my family and my family helps me to feel joyful and friends and God as well. I like to write on there and then you can take your fruit and you can put it on the tree. I'm going to put mine there. Hey, so just have a look at that joy a moment and think how you might bring joy to other people. I wonder if people might write your name on their fruit. That person gives me joy. Have a think about that. Right, I'm now going to draw the next fruit. See if you can guess what it is. What do you think that is? Oh, that's much better than the banana. That's, it's an apple. There we go, just like the apples on our apple tree in the garden. And we're going to write kind. When we're kind, that's God's word bringing fruit in our lives. So just have a think about being kind. Who's being kind to us at the moment? I think all the people who work for the NHS and for caring, people who are educating us at schools, the people who are looking after us, people who are bringing us food, people who are caring, so many different people. And maybe we can think about how can we be kind when we're kind? It's the fruit of God's spirit in us. Have a look, at, I'm gonna put that there, right at the front of the tree. Oh, I like that, I like that polystyrene, works really well. Now the next one, what fruit should we have next? Uh, I know. You know what this is? It's a bunch of grapes. <laughs> That's lovely fruit. Bunches of grapes, there we go. And I'm just gonna, there's the, whoops, there's the stalk there. And we're going to write P, so that's not very good, is it? If I've got a pen. There we go, oh, that's lovely, silver. Peace. God's spirit brings peace as well. So think about all the things that people are worrying about at the moment. And we really want God to bring us peace in our lives. And again, you can think, how can I be peaceful? How can I help other people to feel peaceful? Hmm. Thank you, God, for your peace. Right, where should we put that? Uh, I think we'll put that on that one there. There we go. And the last, the last one we're gonna do for now, you can carry on and do loads of these if you like. Yeah, this is that lovely orange shape there. I'm gonna just put a bit of red on it as well there. Yeah, this is a Satsuma. <laughs> it's the Satsuma of love. <laughs> I love that. So I'm gonna write love there. Love is the thing that God gives us wonderfully. There's the Satsuma. Do you like Satsumas? I love them. There they are. That's the Satsuma of love. And we think about all the think about all the people who we love. And let's just be Let's just bring to mind, let's pray for people who we know need God's love at the moment, needs, our, needs us to show God's love to them. And we're going to pray for our friend Jean. And we're gonna pray for Lorna, who's having a baby soon, and for Ellie, who's having a baby soon. And we're gonna pray for all of the people who are sad because they miss people as well. 
especially we're going to remember Pam Edgell and her family. Pam Edgell was 101 years old. She was a wonderful woman and she died recently and all her family are very sad. But they're also very thankful that they had such a great woman in their lives. So let's put the, let's put the love on the tree. I'm going to have to break that bit off like that. There's our love. Let's just have a look at that tree for a moment. Our fruit tree, our kindness, our love, our peace and our joy. Thank you, God, for your Holy Spirit. Help us to live your words, not just to know the word kindness, but to live in kindness. And help us to be your love on earth. You can carry on and do loads more fruit, if you like, after Scruffy Church TV. But now we're going to say our prayer together that Jesus taught us. I'm going to use my wooden ruler. There we go, Teddy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Let's go and sing our last song together. And when I was thinking about what we could sing, there was only really one song I really wanted to sing today. And I need to get the words up here like that. We're going to sing because it's such a lovely sunny day and because we're thinking about God's love. Shine, Jesus, shine. Let's sing this song and really enjoy singing it together. upon us, set us free by the truth you now bring us. Shine on me, shine on me. Shine, Jesus, shine, fill this land with the Father's glory. Blaze, Spirit, blaze, set our hearts on fire. Flow, river, flow, Flood the nations with grace and mercy. Send forth your word, Lord, and let there be light. As we gaze on your kingly brightness, so our faces display your likeness. Ever changing from glory to glory, mirrored here may our lives tell your story. Shine on me, shine on, let's sing it together. Shine, Jesus, shine, fill this land with the Father's glory. Blaze, Spirit, blaze, set our hearts on fire. Flow, river, flow, flood the nations with grace and mercy. Send forth your word, Lord, and let them be light. Great. Well sung, everybody. Sorry about my playing. Had quite a few mistakes in there, but that's okay. It's Scruffy Church TV. We can have a few scruffy chords when we're singing. 
If you would like a shout out, if you'd like to tell us what you think of Scruffy TV, do write to us here at scruffy at stephensbath.org.uk. And that's our website at the top. You can have a look on there as well. We'd love to hear from you. We'd love to see your pictures and your films, pictures of the things that you make from Scruffy Church TV. Hand at the ready. See if you can feel that warmth from my hand into yours. That's God's love reaching deep into your very spirit. Let me put that warmth on our chest. I've got to watch my microphone. There we are. Love and God, thank you for this time we've had together. Pray that you would help us to hear your word and by your spirit to live your word, that your world may be full of your love. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great week and we'll see you soon on Scruffy Church TV. Scruffy Church TV!